Well, we've got a lot of requests to do something simple for breakfast. And eggs is the thing which everybody knows how to make, but nobody ever shows how to. So we're not inventing anything new, we're just doing a couple of simple things. We're going to do a little French egg omelet and we'll do a couple of poached eggs. So with poached eggs, people usually tell you that uh, you need fresh eggs, which I'm not sure you can get the chicken around. But now eggs usually come from the fridge. So what we discovered is not really about the freshness, but uh, we don't want to have to cold the eggs. So what we do, we just run our eggs under the warm water just for a couple of minutes to make them warm and feel like they're right from the chicken. So what we need is a little bit, uh, a little pot of the boiling water. Uh, I would suggest to add a little bit of the lemon juice to, to the water. And uh, it has to boil, but not violently. Well, right now it's not boiling at all. Meanwhile, let's start on our French omelet. So, we use a fairly large pan, or normal size pan, but we're really going to do a two egg omelet. And really nothing to it. It's all in the, in the little technique. If you watch Julia Childs, she explains it better. So, we have a couple of eggs. We dilute them a little bit with a, with a little bit of milk. By the way, our omelet is a milky dish. So we have a milkish pan, a milkish whisk, and we warm up the pan to the medium heat, and we're a little bit generous with butter. It's a French omelet, and French always like everything with butter. So we melt with a little piece of butter. We add a little bit of special salt our omelet. We always add more when it's ready. We whisk it, but not too much. Don't ever beat your eggs for the French omelet. You just, you know, just a little. Our butter is melted. We just pour our eggs. And what it is in the French omelet to make what it makes better is the cold eggs is to move eggs around. But not to swish them around, otherwise you end up with a scrambled eggs. We still want it to be with the omelet. Right? So, and then your little, little trick I use when you have too much uh, liquid on top, you lift it up a little bit and make sure it goes a little bit under. So it's nice and even. And it's almost ready like this. And it, it's not sticking to the pan because it's not stick pan and there's a lot of butter under it. You just roll everything to one side. And that's what it is. Make sure it's kind of seals in. And they're served on a plate. As opposed to... Well, it, it, all, half of it is actually presentation. So what you would like to do, I would recommend always garnish it with some herbs you have around. In our case we have a little bit of chives. We'll chop them. And voila. We have nice and fluffy French omelette. Mm. One of the people to to go, and the rest of us would like some poached eggs. So our water is boiling now. You could uh, put stuff in the omelette, like mushrooms and cheese. Well, that's a different show. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's a simple French fluffy omelette. So we put a little bit of salt, see what a little bit bubbles and a bit more. We take our eggs, which are now warmed up. And really, don't be afraid, just uh, drop them in. And voila. Increase the heat a little bit, but make sure it doesn't boil violently, otherwise your eggs will go all over the place. And one of the tricks of the trade is what you really need is, uh, what do you call it, a slotted, slotted spoon. spoon yes. Or if you don't have a slotted spoon, you can use one of those, uh, what do you call them, the skimmers. Okay. Things like that. Oh. But this is much more convenient because it's like egg-shaped. Um, so most of the people like the poached eggs on, on toast. 
In this particular case, it's not really toasted. I would recommend lightly toast your bread, but this is a really nice uh, sourdough bread. And the trick in the world, poach egg on, on top of bread, because when people eat it, it's always soft in the middle. So when you break your egg, some of the egg escapes on the bread and becomes really yummy, and that's what we really want. So I think our eggs are to the desired uh, firmness. So make sure you drain it. That's why it's important to have these little holes in the spoon. Slots, if you will. Slots. And just serve them with a piece of bread. Mm. Again, presentation is half of the thing. A little bit of salt. A little bit of chives. And don't forget your fresh ground pepper, which is always a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. That's one. And another one. This fella is going to have two eggs. Mm. By the way, they're a little bit more firm. Some people like their poached eggs a little bit more firm. It's called like medium poached, hard poached. That's right. There's names so for it. So it's really how long you boil, but you notice it's not too long. Regardless how you do it, it's very fast. And we have two eggs poached on the toast. Chives for garnish. Salt. Medium, firm, poached eggs. So, voila! That's our egg breakfast for today. Yes, very good.